I'm redesigning three websites in Framer. I posted on my Instagram stories yesterday for people to share their links. And here are the three websites that I got. We got uh, Ping, which is some uh, software solutions for like government agencies. And then we got Brian Invest, he's a YouTuber, Aussie talking about finance and been investing. And also we've got this one from Eman Ahmed, he's a designer and photographer. So we're gonna redesign these all in Framer and see if we can make it better and improve it. The first up, we've got Brian Invest. So what we've got here, so I'm gonna start off with just adding a nav bar. I'm gonna to go to insert and we're just gonna add a nav bar. We're gonna go with a left align one. I'm gonna drag that in. I'm also gonna make this a dark website. So we'll go black. And I actually updated the logo, did a quick cool logo here. A bit more interesting than this one here. It's a bit simple. So I'm gonna bring that in. I'm gonna go into the nav bar and I'm gonna change the logo here, which is cool. And then I'm going to update these. I'm going to go change the font. So I'm going to select this and I think we're going to go with a clean, simple font. I've been using fig tree. I like this font. It's nice. And we're going to go uh, all caps with this. I'm going to make a new H1 style and I'm going to click edit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the plus button and add a transform and we want to make them all uppercase just like this. And we're going to change to a semi bold and maybe make the letter 0.1 or 0.2 just to make it a bit more wider like this. And we'll go maybe size 12. That looks good. And then I'm just going to play around with the gap um, between the two links. So we're going to go maybe 30 pixel gap. Was cool. Now you can see the website looks like this. Sweet. I do want to add a bit more uh, gap on the left. So I want to add a bit of padding. A bit more cleaner. Awesome. Nice. Now I have got some text now. I think let's maybe go with a centered style. So we'll go fig tree again for this. We're going to go maybe semi bold and we'll go 60. Uh, maybe let's just go 100% and we've got the text here. We'll go fig tree and we'll go, let's try light. Yeah, lights clean and we'll go zero for that. I did tweak the text a little bit. Probably too much text here, but it's fine. So if you hold shift, click and press control, alt, enter, uh, if you're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, will be a command, you can make a stack. And then what I'm gonna do is maybe create some padding on the top. There we go. I'm gonna drag his little profile image like this. We'll put that within a stack and then we can round the corners. And I wanna put this to absolute, change the positioning. And then I'm going to change the radius to 15 to round the corners. And we can do something like this. I want to upload this image. So just double click and I'm going to drop that in here like this, super cool. And then what we want to do is I'm going to add a form. Well, we want probably uh, we want it to be a newsletter, I think, because people should sign up. I don't, we don't have MailChimp. Um, I'll just put this in here. I'm going to change the text. So click on the component, go to the right hand side, click on the button. I just added a MailChimp thing, but obviously you could be using something else. I'm going to say, um, get free newsletter. And we can make this longer like this. And what if we wanted to um, change?
So what I'm going to do is, I like that thing, it's pretty cool. I'm going to click on this um, image here and I'm going to go add an effect. And I'm going to click hover. And so when we hover, it's going to scale and we're going to rotate it a little bit, maybe not too big. And then you can add an offset if you want. Uh, what else? We can add a shadow. We'll bring that up, transparency up. The spread on that shadow, even though it doesn't have to be too much. Now, cool. If I go play, put my mouse over it, you can see it hovers over it. Super cool. And then what I can do, just right click, copy effects, and we go paste effects. So now we've got this super fun, simple website. Drive the traffic to the newsletter. If they want to go to YouTube, they can click on this link, or we could have a maybe a you know a YouTube button somewhere that they could click on. Um, even just highlighting the text. So they could click on that text or something like that. I know that's one way to have a link. I'm going to click the style and edit the link color. And then we're just going to go back to that red color I just had before. Roughly. I need to increase the opacity, not too bright. Cool. Now when we play, we can click that link and it'll go to YouTube. So it's really simple. But yeah, awesome. Let's jump into the next one. So this one, it's a bit more techy, a bit more corporate. So we're gonna keep it clean. First things first, let's add a nice nav bar. So we wanna go this one. So it's got some drop down menus. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna drop the logo in right there. Maybe get smaller. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna add a border. So. We do have one border. Um, maybe we can make it this like grayish color. So a bit thicker, more prominent. And then I'm gonna get the main text. So I've just changed the text here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a row like this. And we're going to change the stack to horizontal. And then I'm gonna put this text within a stack. I'm gonna drag it into here. stack now and we'll make that vertical and then what I'm gonna do is let's find a font We've got a lot of simple fonts I want to find one that has a bit more futuristic try can it um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad and I'm gonna select the stack I'm just gonna delete this frame I'm gonna go left the line bring this over here sweet and then we're gonna make this um, smaller text, Lexend, and then we'll go 18 and make the color a bit more gray. Just quickly add a template there. Now it'll be good to add an image. add this illustration make it look nicer than because the photos look too stock so it looks a bit bland and boring but we want to make it feel more custom um, so we can get this I'm gonna change this to absolute and then um, we can bring that on the side we can also um, put that within a stack going to add a button I'm gonna use the eyedropper to select this color here and I'm gonna round off the corners maybe 20 pixels and then we're gonna drop some text inside there just say book call and we'll make it white let's go say 16 I'm gonna drag it below or inside of this stack here cool so we've got this make it a bit smaller and 
then we want to go add a link and then this link could go to a page or whatever and what i'm going to do now is create a component we can call it button and then go on the variant let's make a hover state and the hover we can just you see opacity like this so now we hover you can see the button it's like a white so something from this to this i think will be a lot cleaner and then adding some images there all right cool next we've got this portfolio which is super cool i'm going to go for we'll go stick with the black theme i'm gonna drag a nav bar here and the logo feels a bit out of place in this button there's a lot of white space on the right side so we're gonna fix that um we can probably just go in here and got the logo i'm gonna drag it inside here make it small cool email design and then uh, go probably So we've got the nav bar. Now what we can do to make this a little bit better. Instead of putting the button in the right, we could probably fix this. You could probably have a better image of you. So let's maybe go. So he's got photography and graphic design. But I think he's more of a photographer. Um, let's see his work. He's got his behance stuff. Okay, so he's got some work. That's kind of cool. I'll just say graphic designer. Um... Add some padding, 50, and we're gonna make this bold. Change the font to bold. Some of his work in there. the padding I'm gonna change the width to 0 0.7 uh, FR
we're gonna change the overflow to visible. Now with the stack, I can increase the size. And I'll just make sure the top stack is set to visible as well. So now you can see it's overflowing section there. And we can scale this up like this and we can scale this one like that. Make it a little bit different. And then let's put some, maybe a scribble or something just for some extra details. Gives a bit of interesting layers. Um, I'll add one more element. We'll put it on the left hand side so it sort of drags the eye downward. I don't know, it'd probably be better to put like an arrow or something. I don't know, something like this. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if I have more time, I'll spend more time on it. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know which of the three you liked the most. And remember to try out Framer. Use my code Jeremy below to get 25% off any site plan. If you don't want more Framer tutorials, I've got some right here. Check it out.